What is up, Keller Williams agents? It is Sam Jackson with In Command and Sam, the Director of Innovation and Technology for Keller Williams in North Atlanta. And today I want to show you the workaround for uh, your new Keller Williams websites just in case you've come across a screen that looks like this that says coming soon. So if you have this issue, it is most likely, I'm going to say most likely, an issue with what you have going on with GoDaddy. So one of the first things you want to do is actually leave your agent website and go to GoDaddy.com or, excuse me, wherever you purchase your, uh, your main URL address from. So that would be, for example, SamJackson.com. Um, so what you want to do is log in to GoDaddy and you can take a look at your domains. Now, one of the things that I will stress is that your screen may not look exactly like mine, uh, but just know what you're looking for is what we call DNS and then also forwarding. Um, I've been working with agents all week long with the new updates with the websites and it seems like every time I'm working with them in GoDaddy, it looks completely different from every single person. So don't worry that yours does not look like mine. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my name, my account, go to manage domains. And then once I find the domain that I want to forward to my new agent website, so I'm looking for this uh, Samuel Jackson one right here, so samueljackson.com, I'm going to click on it. And then I am looking again, like I said, for DNS. Oh, looks like I got a login again. All right. And I am looking for, I'm going to keep scrolling down, manage DNS, which is right here. And again, doesn't matter how you get there, just make sure you get there. And then once you're on a page that looks like this, we're just looking for the, uh, the opportunity or the uh, possibility to forward. So I'm going to scroll down. On the right-hand side, yours should be blank here. It may got kicked out because of the, um, the upgrade. But one of the most important things you want to do is make sure this is defaulted to HTTP. You want to change yours to HTTPS. And then uh, type in your full Keller Williams uh, subdomain. So for me, that is samjackson.kw.com. And if you want to double-check, just go to your command. I can type agent.kw and then sign in. If you just want to double check, I think the safest thing to do would be to copy and paste. I'm going to click on sites on the left hand side, click on agent sites, and my page is right here. So this is samjackson.kw.com. This is the ultimate end of where we want to do our forwarding to. So I'm going to just right click and copy go to my domain on GoDaddy and paste this in. Now the most important thing is, is that if you're copying and pasting like I did, you have to delete out all the HTTPS and everything before that. I'm just clicking in samjackson.kw.com. No www uh, and no HTTPs, but we need this HTTPS right here and then your end subdomain. Now it's really important that you trial this. So go ahead and click on preview, which will open up a new tab. And you'll see that ultimately we are ending right here where we want to be. So it looks great, looks perfect. Click on X there, go back to GoDaddy. Um, now there's a couple different things here. Um, you can change this to permanent or temporary. I would leave this a permanent. And then uh, the other thing that you can do here is change the forward only or forward with masking. So forward only means that I can type in samueljackson.com. It'll forward me to my new Keller Williams website. However, at the very last second, you'll see that this will change to samjackson.kw.com. That's just forwarding. The other thing is that if I do forward with masking, no matter what, this site here will read, um, excuse me, this site right here will read samueljackson.com. Now, that's a little bit nicer for branding. However, from what I understand, I'm no expert. I've heard several times that this will hurt you. Masking will hurt you from an SEO standpoint. So the best practice would be leave it at forward only uh, and then click save. Uh, to be honest with you, my bit of advice is that most people have no idea what they're clicking around to. They just came across your link uh, and they typically don't pay attention to that last little second change of main domain to new subdomain. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. But once I click save, uh, this could take anywhere from two minutes to, I don't know, 36 hours. Uh, it seems to be there's no rhyme or reason, but sometimes GoDaddy can take a little while. Uh, have some time, take some time, be patient with it. Um, and if you are receiving that same error from PlaySer and you're using any other tool besides uh, GoDaddy for your, your website hosting, um, you're probably looking for DNS 
and you're looking for something, probably call it forwarding or, um, I don't know, resending, something like that. But that's pretty much what we're looking for. Uh, but if you have any questions, uh, you guys know how to hit me up. Uh, search me up on Kelly, Sam Jackson on Kelly, or uh, send me an email, sam.jackson at kdb.com. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys today. And uh, keep working these new websites. I love them.